Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 16 in chapter 6. In this one, we need to determine the mass of the sun, and then you know the period of the Earth and the distance from the Earth, right? So we look at this model. This design is at the center of the Earth is this one. And then we can see when we need to consider the mass of the sun, we need to consider the gravitational force. Do you agree? Yes, because it tells you the period. So next one, we know the gravitational force is act as a central force to make the Earth rotate on this circle. So this uh, gravitational force just equals mass times the acceleration, right, pointing to the center of this circle. So this is a v squared divided by r. No problem. Do you agree? Yes. And now we can find the mass of the sun in this equation. You can see the capital G is a constant. And the v squared, the v is a velocity. And this, on this uh, earth, and the r is given is the distance from the sun, right? So it looks like this one we need to find the velocity, how fast this uh, earth moves. Tell look at there. It tell you the period of the earth. What is the period? What is the period means? Period means the time taking for one complete circle. Do you agree? And then we can see the time taking for one complete circle. Can you find the distance? Covered for one complete circle. Sure, 2 pi r. See, we use this distance divided by period, we get the velocity. Because in one circle, the distance is 2 pi r, right? Do you agree? Arc of this circle. And then the t is period time taking for them, so we can get the velocity. And then input the velocity inside, you find the mass. Now, we find the mass of the sun. Ask you to compare your answer with the Kepler's law. What Kepler's law means? There, right? And then, is it correct? Sure, we can check the, our answer with Kepler's law. Kepler's law tells us this ratio r squared, or r cubed divided by t squared is a constant for the planet, right? Exactly, you can see our mass equal to 4 pi squared divided by g. This is a constant, and mass is a constant. Exactly, our answer satisfies the Kepler's third law, and we are great. See, after you input the known quantities, you find the answer's mass. Thank you.